Hey Rando Runners! Today we are fighting Trinax and as it turns out we have no boots. However there is a method where you still can get pretty much guaranteed a 1 cycle with a tempered sword and a guaranteed 0 cycle with a gold sword. Let's start with the tempered sword. When entering the Trinax fight move up left to the point that you are to the right of the spikes in the third row right here. Turn right and shoot your ice rod against the fire head and start moving behind Trinax. This movement takes some practice, but you'll get there. Next, slash three times from the back and reuse your ice rod against the fire head. Now, you have to slash Trinax two more times. While you do that, equip to your fire rod. A little advice here. Try place the fifth sword slash a little bit from the right, so you bounce towards the right side where you want to go next. Now comes the RNG part. In this case, we have a bad ice head RNG and also a bad Trinex movement RNG. And still, we get to have a one cycle Trinex. With your fire rod in hand, you want to hit the ice head as far upright as possible. But in this case, we have to hit it pretty far down left. Now, when you shoot the fire rod for the first time, you walk to the right side regardless if you hit the ice head or not. If you hit the shot, you can go and slash Trinax mostly two times before reusing the fire rod for the last three slashes to finish phase one. For deeper RNG behavior, I'm gonna leave you an explanation in the description. Now let's see with the gold sword. You pretty much do the same things that you would do with the tempered sword. The only difference is, you have to switch from ice rod to fire rod in your first and only three slashes against the fire head. The last slash has to be done from a little bit further to the right, so you bounce to the right and you can use your fire rod quickly right here and get the zero cycle phase one done. And that's it. Now you don't need your boots anymore to get your one cycle with tempered or zero cycle with gold sword. 